Well, it's time for me to confess my sins and help you understand how I was lying with these perspective projection matrices. Let me bring our camera back onto the scene. You can see I have our coordinate system here. I have the positive x to the right, positive y up, positive z this direction. This is right-handed. Open GL. You'll notice that our camera is looking in the negative z direction. But this camera is actually really huge. The camera should really just be an infinite infinitesimally, is that how you say that? I have an extremely small point here. I should shrink this camera down. So this is anybody camera looking into the world in this direction. I just like this nice big model here because it helps you visualize it. But realistically, the camera is really small. It's a point camera, if you would, a pinhole camera, and it's looking down the positive, or the negative Z direction. That's very critical. And then I believe in the previous video I threw this box onto the scene and I said let's move the box out here so that this side of the box that is facing us is lined up perfectly with this z equals negative one line there and then z equals negative three out here. So this this edge of the box is negative one and this value out here is negative three. I grab the smush it slider. Let's bring the smush it in and we'll smush the box into our range that we discussed earlier. And hopefully I don't move the camera too much. Let me see if I can line it back up there. And hopefully you see now that our box went from negative one to negative three to one. This is positive one in the Z to negative one again out here at the back of the box. So the front of the box was at negative one. We moved the front of the box up here to positive one. The back of the box was at negative three and we moved the back of the box to negative one. So we get our nice range from negative one to one, which we like for the depth test. But if you were paying attention, close attention, you probably were scratching your head hopefully and thinking, Jamie, um, something's not right here. When we were studying depth, we had the furthest value out to positive one at the back and negative one was right against my eye. Okay, these values are actually flipped from what I said happens. And then going back to what we saw in the last video, we went from a right-handed coordinate system to a left-handed coordinate system. Positive z is going this direction. Okay, it's going into the scene. It's not coming out of the scene. And this is the part where I want to confess and clear up my sins. Yes. You're correct. I actually faked it a little bit here. OpenGL is right-handed. Through all the transformations we do, OpenGL is right-handed until we do a perspective projection. Once we do the perspective projection, OpenGL actually swaps or flips this and goes to a right-handed coordinate system. I'm not sure why. Maybe because the hardware is better at comparing depth values with positive one being far out and negative one being closer. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But on just only on the perspective projection, positive one is going out away from our viewpoint. Negative one is close right up to our eye. And I, I'm pretty sure that only has to do with depth tests. So 99% of the time, well not 99% of the time, but most of the time in OpenGL we're right-handed. Once we do the perspective projection, we go to left-handed. And that doesn't really matter because once we do a depth test, then we're done anyways. So just for purposes of this section of the video, I actually went back into my code on this tool and changed it back to how it really is. I, I was doing a little trick in the background of this code where essentially I was multiplying all the z's by a negative 1 to flip them or invert them or scale them by a negative 1 so that when I would smash the scene, the smash would work exactly how we would expect. But to be truly honest, at least in OpenGL, where we go from a right-handed coordinate system to a left-handed coordinate system, I had to go back and take that multiply of negative one out. And then I want to show you what's actually going on here. We have our camera in the scene, but let me turn the camera off. But notice the direction the camera's facing. The camera is looking in the negative Z direction. This is the negative Z direction. The front of the box, is sitting at negative one, okay, negative one. The back of the box is sitting at negative three. But then when we smash this, the front of the box will actually stay at negative one because our depth test goes from negative one being right up in front of our face, which in this case, the front of the box is in front of our face. If I bring our camera 
model back in. The front of the box is pretty much right in front of the camera. So I'd expect this side of the box to be in front of the camera. And then the back side of the box will be far away from the camera. But in a depth test, remember the depth test goes from negative 1 to positive 1. So positive 1 is actually sitting right here. All right, this is positive 1. Sorry, I kind of missed it there. Let me try that again. Positive 1 is sitting right here. So the back of the box actually has to come all the way back here. And then you can think of the camera. Instead of looking in the negative Z direction, the camera is looking down the positive Z instead after we do the projection matrix. Right, we're right-handed all the way up until the projection matrix. And then once we do the projection, the camera is looking down the positive Z instead. So watch what happens. The back of the box has to come to positive 1, representing far away in our depth test, whereas the front of the box must remain at negative 1, meaning right in front of our face. I'm going to grab this slider, and here's my modified code. Notice the front of the box is staying there, but the back of the box is coming, it's coming. Pop, it comes out, and our box has turned inside out. The back of the box has now reached this positive 1 right here. Here's positive 1 on the Z, and our camera is looking down the positive Z axis. The camera is looking this direction. Let me flip our viewpoint over here, and voila! There you go. This is what our camera sees. If I can position our camera kind of in front of the box, that is what our camera actually sees. And that is actually what's going on. So I've hopefully repented of my sins and just pointed out to you that the depth test, it really doesn't matter that as far away as positive 1, close as negative 1. So OpenGL is just like, eh, let's, let's invert the Z and we'll call it good on the perspective projection. But other than that, OpenGL is a right-handed coordinate system.